Yes, yes, have a look at these boy gigahertz. But do you believe it? Yes, I am running this Alienware 15R4 at 5 gigahertz. So you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro? Or just get killer prices on Windows Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys? Head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go woo! And that's the thing, right? That's why you buy these full gaming laptops, what I call the proper gaming laptops. So yeah, they're a little bit thicker, a bit heavier. And if you have a look at this one, the bezels are a little bit thicker too. But when it comes to gaming, get maximum performance, overclocking. You forget about all that. And this just gives you the best gaming experience. And you know it's going to be robust. You know it's going to last a long time. You'll be able to take that pounding of, you know, consistent gaming day in, day out. So when somebody asks me what gaming laptop should I get and gaming is the number one priority, this is probably what I recommend. Now, the price has started around 2700 in Australia or 1399 in the US. Now, this particular model here was about 4700 Australian, which is expensive. No jokes there. When I compare that to the MacBook Pro, I was reviewing like $1,000 more than this. And this Alienware has, you know, GTX 1080 i9 and you're getting high specs in the Alienware, especially in the graphics department. You know, I'm not going to say it's cheap. I think you get what you pay for. Now, this one comes with an i9-8950HK, overclockable. It comes with 32 gigs RAM, GTX 1080 Max-Q, but they get the most out of their Max-Q. This performs very similar to an actual full GTX 1080. has a 4K display with GC. There are so many display options. There's a full HD 60 hertz. There's, there's a high refresh rate, 120 hertz. TN panel. That's the one you want if you're a competitive gamer. And it's actually two 4K models as well. One with G-Sync, one without. I have the 4K with G-Sync and this is great for 4K gaming if you're not a competitive gamer and also it's great for content creation. And I'll leave a link to Surface Studios video on why he uses an Alienware as his visual effects computer. Now having a look at the design, unmistakably Alienware, very unique. You have the zone lighting keyboard, Alienware logos that light up, you have strip lighting. Out of every single laptop I've used, okay, this is the one I get the most comments on. When people see this one, they're like, what's that? Like, I have so many laptops that people don't even blink an eye. Even with the MacBook Pro, they don't say, oh, what's that? Is that a Mac? <laughs> they, don't, they don't care. But when they see the Alienware, just the unique angles of it and, and just the strip lighting and stuff like that, that everybody's interested. So... Um, it's one of those things, whether you like it or not, but it's certainly built solid. And I think it's pretty kitsch. It's pretty cool design. Now, it does have the bigger bezels. That's still a thing on these sort of full proper gaming laptops. They still do usually have bigger bezels. Now, it is one inch thick or 25.5 millimeters thick, 3.49 kilos, 7.69 pounds. So it's not the most mobile laptop out there, but for a desktop replacement and, you know, for a laptop with this sort of power, that's part of the course. And you're basically getting a mobile desktop in a laptop form when you really think about it. This has loads of ports. You have audio in, audio out jacks. You have Thunderbolt 3. You have USB-C. You have the Alienware graphics amplifier port, which is faster than the Thunderbolt 3 port for external graphics. Of course, you have the USB 3.1s, Type A's, Ethernet. It has everything you want on it for a gamer. The sound quality is very good, but of course, when you're gaming, you probably want a headset because all gaming laptops are loud. But I have no complaints with the sound. Very rich. And it's actually quite decent to play a game without a headset. Keyboard has zone lighting. So RGB zone lighting, it's not individually backlit, but you control this with all the Alienware software. And there's a load of software they have here. And all of this is compatible with AlienFX, which is where the lighting and the laptop can sync and adapt with the game you're playing if it supports it. And I have to say, a lot of the software that comes with gaming laptops is rubbish. The Alienware software is really good. They've just updated it. It's nice and clean. There's lots of features. It has some of the best gaming software. Now, when it comes to the keyboard, oh my God, the zone strip lighting on the keyboard, heaven for your fingers. One of the best keyboards you're ever going to use. It really is awesome. Enough said. Trackpad, it lights up. It looks cool. Has a separate button for left and right mouse click. It works actually well. It doesn't look like it worked well. It's 
fairly small and actually works pretty well. It's a pretty decent trackpad and I don't trigger it off either when I was gaming whereas every other gaming laptop I always trigger off the trackpad. This one it never happened. This display here, the 4K display is very good. IPS panel, G-Sync, so everything is super. So there's no tear and it's nice and smooth. It has a good color gamut and it's great for content creation. And if your games aren't really competitive, the 4K can be a great option. Although if you are a competitive gamer, go for the 120 hertz one. The battery is a 99 watt hour battery, big as they can get. But um, yeah, it's a G-Sync monitor on this. So the battery life is like two and a half, three hours, which is normal for a G-Sync monitor. There are non-G-Sync monitor options as well. So those will get better battery life. So when it comes to performance, this thing is a friggin' beast. I could overclock it. I went into the BIOS, overclocked it. I overclocked it to the third level, which is like five gigahertz. And I was gaming at five gigahertz. I've already shown you in the gaming review. Check out my gaming review with this laptop. When I overclocked it to 5 gigahertz, it would pretty much stay at constant 5 gigahertz depending on the game. Sometimes it will drop a little bit below 5, but mostly sustaining that 5 gigahertz, which is friggin' phenomenal. Of course, all called burst, it's not going to sustain 5 gigahertz. And it pretty much topped the charts when it comes to rendering compared to all the other laptops I've used. So it's going to be great for content creation, a beast for gaming. Check out my gaming review. That's what this is for. It's a gaming beast and you're going to love it for gaming. And when it comes to heat and noise, I said I couldn't overwhelm it heat wise. And when it comes to noise, this is probably the quietest gaming laptop I've used. It's quieter than the Razer or the Aero. Not that they're in the same class, but much quieter than those laptops. But it's a gaming laptop. It still will get loud. It's got a GTX 1080. It has an i9 and you can overclock it. There's going to be some noise, but it is one of the quietest gaming laptops. They've done a great job on the acoustics there. Now, upgradability, you can upgrade the M.2 SSD. You can upgrade the 2.5 inch drive, which you can put a SATA drive in there. You have two RAM slots, so you can upgrade that. So, so plenty of options for upgrading. So my overall conclusion is the daddy. The Alienware 15 R4. If you're going to ask me, I'm a hardcore gamer. I game eight hours a day. Which laptop should I get? It's going to be this one. Killer performance. It's going to survive. Great G-Sync monitor and great monitor options. Upgradability and acoustics. One of the quietest gaming laptops I've used. Along with all the Alienware software and the cool zone lighting and strip lighting and stuff like that. It's a hardcore gamer's dream. You know, I'd like to see in the future that they get rid of those bezels and, and we could keep the same size as this, but maybe have a bigger display in it. That would be awesome. But other than that, when it comes to gaming, put this up top of the list there. It is a gaming beast. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, tally ho.